Sutra. Good knowing advisors. No means know what. Thought means thought of what. No means no two marks. No thought of defilement. Thought means thought of the original nature of true suchness. True suchness is the substance of thought, and thought is the function of true suchness. The true suchness self nature gives rise to thought. It is not the eye, ear, nose, or tongue which can think. The true suchness possesses a nature, and therefore gives rise to thought. Without true suchness, the eye, ear, forms, and sounds immediately go bad. Good knowing advisers, the true suchness self nature. Gives rise to thought, and the six faculties, although they see, hear, feel, and know, are not defined by the ten thousand states. Your true nature is eternally independent. Therefore, the Vima Lakati Sutra says, if one is well able to discriminate all Dharma marks, then, in the primary meaning, one does not move. Commentary: The Pachak addressed. The assembly saying, "Good knowing advisers, all of you with wisdom. When I say no, what is not? When I say thought, what is the thought of? No means no two marks. Further, not even one mark. No thought means no thoughts of defilement, no defined improper deviant thoughts of sexual desire. Thought means the thought of the true suchness inherent in each of us." This is the Tathagata strong nature, the Buddha nature. You ask, then, if there is no thought, is there no true suchness? No means no two marks. Thought means thought of the true such original nature. Thought arising from the true such self nature is true thought. The the eye, ear, nose, and tongue cannot think. True suchness is the kind spoken. In spoken of in chapter three, when your nature is present, the king is present. When your nature goes, there is no king. Although thought does arise, and seeing, hearing, feeling, and knowing do occur at the gates of the six organs, there is no attachment when you use the true your true suchness nature, because there are no deviant thoughts. The true nature is eternally independent, because of the function of true suchness. You are well able to discriminate all dharma marks. Even so, you are not attached to any state, and so in the final analysis, you do not move. Chapter five: Sitting in Chen Sutra. The master instructed the assembly. The door of sitting in Chen consists. Fundamentally, of attaching oneself neither to the mind nor to purity, it is not non-movement. One might speak of becoming attached to the mind, and yet the mind is fundamentally false. You should know that the mind is like an illusion, and therefore there is nothing to which you can become attached. Commentary: Chen is not necessarily just sitting in meditation. One may practice Chen while walking, standing, sitting, and lying down. In his Song of Enlightenment, the Great Master Yun Chia wrote, "In Chen, while walking and while sitting, speaking silent, moving still, his body is at peace. If you know how, you can practice Chen at all times, not just while sitting in meditation, but do not become attached to the mind or to purity." Becoming attached to the mind, you have two minds, and becoming attached to purity, you have two purities. Do not think I will sit here and do and not move. Becoming attached to the mind, you have two false minds, neither of which is the true mind. The mind、uh, is an illusion. Why attach yourself to it? Sutra. One might say that. To practice Chen is to attach oneself to purity. Yet the nature of people is basically pure. It is because of false thinking that the true suchness is obscured. Simply have no false thinking, and the nature will be pure of itself. If an attachment to purity arises in your mind, 
a deluded idea of purity will result. What is delusory does not exist, and the attachment is false. Purity has no form or mark, and yet there are those who set up the mark of purity as an achievement. Those with this view obstruct their own original nature and become bound by purity. Commentary: Everyone's self-nature is basically pure of itself, but when you cling to purity, you add a head on top of a head and create two purities: a true purity and a false purity, and so you stray from the original pure substance. So purity has no form or mark. You postulate a mark to it, and in doing so, and in so doing, add a head on top of a head. When you consider that to be skill, you obstruct your original mind and nature. Cultivation is for the purpose of breaking attachments. You should not be attached. Sutra, good knowing advisers, one who cultivates non-movement does not notice whether. Other people are right or wrong, good or bad, or whether they have other forms. That is the non-movement of the self-nature. Good knowing advisers, although the body of the confused person may not move, as soon as he opens his mouth, he speaks of what is right and wrong about others, of their good points and shortcomings, and so he turns his back on the way. Attachment to the mind and attachment to purity are obstructions to the way. Commentary: You cultivate non-movement. Non-movement of what? You shouldn't just sit there and not move. You should cultivate non-movement in the midst of movement, in the midst of your daily activities. Do not move. Do not insist on criticizing others and pointing out their faults. If you do nothing. The censure and browbeat others. It is not non-movement. Sutra. The master instructed the assembly, good knowing advisers, what is meant by sitting in Chen, in this unobstructed and unimpeded dharma door. The mind's thoughts do not arise with respect to any good or evil external state. What that is, what sitting is, to see the unmoving self nature in worldly in Chen, good knowing advisers. What is meant by Chen concentration, being separate from external marks is Chen, not being confused in worldly is concentration. If you become attached to external marks, your mind will be confused in worldly. If you are separate from external marks, in worldly your mind will be unconfused. The original nature is naturally pure, in a natural state of concentration. Confusion arises merely because states are seen and attended to. If the mind remains unconfused when any state is encountered, that is true concentration. Commentary: Sitting in one place is not necessarily sitting. You are said to be sitting when your mind is no longer disturbed by external conditions, be they good or bad. When you view the unmoving self nature inwardly, you are practicing Chen. When you are not attached to external marks, you have attained Chen. When inwardly you have no illusions or scattered thoughts, you have attained concentration. Detect yourself. From external marks, and your efficacious, bright, enlightened nature will be pure of itself. In that way, you will attain concentration. Sutra, good knowing advisers, being separate from all external marks is Chen, and being inwardly unconfused is concentration. External Chen and inward concentration are Chen concentration. The Vimma. Lakati Sutra says, "Just then, suddenly return and regain the original mind." The Bodhisattva Shiva Sutra says, "Our basic nature is pure of itself. Good knowing advisers, in every thought, see your own clear and pure original nature. Cultivate, practice, realize the Buddha way."